So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going over five stocks that I'm looking at right now for trades. Let me say that again. These are all for trades, not for long-term investments. I think the charts look great. Maybe not so much the fundamentals for some of these stocks, but the charts again look pretty good. So we're going to break down a bunch in this video. If y'all find value, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get up to 17 stocks for Moomoo. Use that link down below. Once you open up an account, you get one free share of stock. If you deposit at least a hundred bucks, you get another six free shares of stock that's seven stocks guys seven and if you deposit at least a thousand bucks listen to this you get 17 stocks you get another 10 stocks on top of the seven stocks for depositing that thousand which 10 plus 7, guys, that's 17. So if you want to help out the channel and you also want to get some free money, some free stocks, use that link down below. And now let's dive into the video with stock number one, which you guys can see right on the screen right here. It's good old new core ticker symbol NUE. So right off the bat, guys, this stock is down a good amount from the recent highs. Roughly, uh, it was at roughly 180 bucks, it seems like here. And it looks like we double topped at that point. We hit 180 in the middle. Actually, that was the beginning of February. Then we hit it again in the beginning of this month. We hit 180. So we double topped at that point and we sold off to where we are now, which mind you, we're still selling off. The stock's down 2.5% on the day, but it's down overall now about 13% from the recent highs. And notice, this is big right here, we're approaching a major level of support at the bottom of this channel. You guys can see which, guys, look, we've held this over the past couple of months, ever since the middle of August. You guys see right here, that's where we've been uptrending, right? So this is a big spot for the bulls. I think we will see some sort of relief rally at this point. I could be wrong. I've been wrong. Uh, you know, I've been wrong in the past, but I feel like buyers could come in here. So I'm going to set my alert at 160 bucks, which is slightly above the 180 moving average on this four hour chart. If we do, uh, if we do break out of that point, guys, that in my eyes would be confirmation of the, uh, you know, the uptrend continuing. Essentially, if we break the 180 SMA and the highs here from the middle of January and also from the beginning of December, November as well, you can see 155, 160 was resistance. So let's see if we could break 160, guys. That's where my alert's at here on Nucor. The next stock that I'm looking at is, some of you have probably heard of it. Just kidding. All of you have heard of this company. It is Microsoft, guys, ticker symbol MSFT. Look at this. This stock is up 2.6% today. As mind you guys, the overall markets right now when I'm filming, it's about 3.30. We're all over the place. The Russell's down 1.5%. We have the NASDAQ up 1%. S&P's at break even. The Dow's down 0.1%. The VIX is up 7%. So everything's all over the place today. And in the midst of that, we have Microsoft up almost 3%. Very strong day for Microsoft. And what we're noticing here is, is a double bottom. You guys see that at about, let's see, 245 roughly. Yeah, 240, 245. Now we're starting to pop up to the, uh, you know, th this multi-day resistance, which is right around, let me see here, on the 20-day or on the five-day, you'll see it. 260, you guys can see, uh, see, that's a big resistance. So we double topped. We're starting to break out but not fully. We're not fully breaking out. So if we could see Microsoft take out, let's say 260, you know, let's say we start breaking out of this wedge right around 260, 265. That's where my, uh, well, I have two alerts here, 276, 265. I'm going to put another one at 260. If we could start breaking the 260s, there's going to be a lot of momentum in Microsoft to the upside. The momentum is, is going to shift at that point, in my personal opinion. So we'll see how it plays out. Of course, there's a lot going on right now. We have CPI this week, PPI, not to mention everything going on in the banking sector, right? There's a lot going on there. So a lot of uncertainty, guys. So anything could happen, especially to a large cap. But that is what I'm seeing right now. My alerts are at 260, 265, and 276 bucks per share. So that is Microsoft. The next one I want to talk about is AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, which is currently down about half a percent, not as bad as Nucor, uh, but still it's down about 45 cents on the day. And what we're noticing on AMD here, guys, is number one, main uh, major resistance at about 88, 89 bucks. Number two, the uptrend is holding. We're making higher lows. We have been over the past couple of months. And number three, we're riding the moving averages 
on the four hour chart. That's what I'm seeing right off the bat. And we can see on top of that, we're down about six, seven bucks in the past couple of days. In other words, about six, seven percent uh, percentage points. So let's see what happens right in this little window, $80, 81, 82. This is a big support for the, um, you know, you know, for, for the stock. It's the moment of truth for the bulls, essentially, right guys, they have to come in here at 80, 82. And that's kind of what I'm watching for. So if we pull up the five day, we'll notice there is a little bit of a downtrend. That's, you know, now that I'm, now that I'm looking at this, it's still intact. So for the bulls to start to, you know, gain control, they almost did earlier, but we can see we got rejected at a lower high. If they want to, if bulls want to gain control on this thing, we're going to have to break past the highs from today. That's number one. And number two, the highs from last Friday. You guys can see last week, 85 ish dollars. If AMD could clear 84, 85, that's where I think the breakout could be occurring. And who knows, maybe we start to go back to the recent highs at 88. Maybe we go to the 90s. And you could also argue here, guys, we have a cup and handle in the making and an inverse head and shoulders. You guys can see it right here. We have the left shoulder right here on AMD, uh, the heads right here. We got the right shoulder right here, potentially in the making. So AMD keeping a very close eye on that one. And CRM is another one. This is Salesforce. Let's pull it up and see what this is looking like. So Salesforce had a great day when they reported earnings last week or the week before, whenever that was, you guys remember very solid day. The stock went up to 195 and now it's down to 175. In fact, earlier, uh, I think it was this morning or last week, either way. Yeah. This morning it was uh, down to 170 bucks. So this company reported great numbers from what I remember guidance was strong as well. The stock shot up. It gave back all the gains. This could be the dip by, I, I don't want to exaggerate and be like, oh, it's the dip by of a lifetime, but this could be <laughs> a decent dip by, in my opinion, of course, do your own research guys on a, on a stock whose chart looks pretty good, better than a lot of charts out there, at least the ones I'm looking at and whose numbers were pretty good. Guidance was strong from what I remember. So this is looking pretty, uh, pretty solid right here. The stock's up almost 2% on the day. looks like we are holding the trend line. We're above the 180 SMA here. And uh, it looks like we're about to test the 50 SMA. And in my opinion, guys, if this successfully clears above 178, I'll set my alert there right now. You guys can see that was the high from when was that the beginning of February, middle of February, towards the end of February as well. If we're able to break out of there, that's going to be the confirmation in my opinion that, that we're on our way back to maybe the one one eighties, one nineties even. So CRM, I really, really like this. And if you like the way I'm breaking down charts here on YouTube, guys, you, you like the analysis. There's a lot more of that on Patreon. If you want to check out my Patreon, I post charts there throughout the day, thoughts throughout the day. You also get one-on-one -on -one access with me through, you know, messages on Patreon. And you can also see me build out my portfolio, my Patreon portfolio, which I recently started. And now that stocks are falling again, I've been, you know, adding money into it and buying stocks. So, well, even when stocks were going up, I was doing that either way, guys, check out the Patreon. If you guys want to be a part of it linked right down below, shameless plug. And with that being said, let's continue on here with the last stock, which is CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike's currently up 2.2% on the day. It's at 122 bucks a share. And what are we doing, guys? We're holding the uptrend. It looks pretty nice, in my opinion, the uptrend. You guys can see it here in the uh, in the channel that I just drew out. And recently, they reported numbers. The stock went down from 136 down to about, let's see, 116. Now it's at 122. We're starting to see the rebound already. We're popping over that 180 SMA. Now it looks like we're going to go test the 50. Well, we're actually testing it right now at about 124 bucks. I'm going to set my alert. Let's round that up a little bit to 125. We'll put it at 125. And if it does clear that point, we break out of the potential head and shoulders also forming here. We have the neckline at about 125. If we start making that move, we're going to see CrowdStrike probably go to the 130s again. This thing, uh, you know, gains momentum 
quick. It moves fast. And it's been reversing over the past couple of months. And by the looks of it, guys, this is simply a little pullback. It's uh, it's nothing more as of now. And of course, we'll do an update. We'll do a recap on these stocks in the next couple of days. So make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button if you found value in this video. And don't forget to get up to 17 stocks from Moomoo. All the details are linked down below. Deposit at least 100 bucks, guys. You get seven stocks. Deposit at least 1000 bucks. You get 17 stocks. And if you open up an account, you get one stock right off the the bat. So all the details are down below and don't forget to check out the Patreon. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.